Developing tonight, Columbia University in New York moved all classes online with growing protests over Israel's handling of the war in Gaza. Meanwhile, some Jewish members of the campus community are facing anti-Semitism. Slurs and threats against Jewish and Muslim people in the U.S. are on the rise. We're seeing that locally as well. And as the way the war wait, rages, that is, on Passover is supposed to be an annual Jewish celebration of freedom from enslavement in Egypt that begins tonight. And there are concerns and conflicted feelings about what's happening overseas. 7 News reporter Rebecca Turco joins us now live outside the Washington Hebrew Congregation in Northwest D.C. Rebecca, there's a Passover Seder tonight. And the rabbi here tells us it is going to be a full house here tonight. She says there's really no way to celebrate Passover, a holiday that's commemorating uh, freedom, that there's no way to celebrate it without thinking of those hostages in Gaza. Millions of Jewish Americans are preparing to celebrate Passover as the war in Gaza rages on. Unfortunately or fortunately, Jews are pretty good <laughs> at figuring out how to both hold pain and joy at the same time. Rabbi Elian Official is leading a community Seder tonight at the Washington Hebrew Congregation at a time when anti-Semitism is spiking. The Anti-Defamation League tracked more than 8,800 anti-Semitic incidents across the U.S. last year, and nearly 59% of those happened since Hamas's cross-border attack on October 7th. I never thought as a rabbi that I would deal with anti-Semitism. I never thought I'd be asked about anti-Semitism. Um, I never thought it was gonna be part of my rabbinic career. Um, and of course it is. Um, and our people are in pain. The ongoing war has also led to a rise in anti-Muslim incidents. The Council on American Islamic Relations reported receiving more than 8,000 complaints last year, with nearly 42% of those complaints happening since the war began. The council's research and advocacy director recommends local Muslims not hide who they are. Particularly for people of faith, or even those of no faith, right? It's our ethics and values that drive us to go out and stand up for oppressed peoples. Rabbi Fischel echoed that sentiment for people in the Jewish community. We remind ourselves um, that we can be proud to be Jewish. We have to be proud to be Jewish, as it will be, it is the number one thing to combat anti-Semitism. And the sanctuary here has more than 130 empty chairs with ribbons on them, representing the estimated remaining people being held hostage by Hamas. Reporting live in Northwest DC, Rebecca Turco, 7 News.